please. through fog. Saskia, are you all right? It's just a flesh wound. You and the Witcher, we owe you our lives. I'm here to protect you. And you, Witcher? I'm after a Kingslayer who kidnapped Triss Marigold. And brought her here? Is this an interrogation? There are warrants on your head in Temeria, Kedwin, and Redania. And I'm responsible for Saskia's safety. That's enough, Philippa. You told me yourself you thought him innocent. Saskia, folk are riled. First the sun went out, then the squirrels arrived. Now this fog. It's too much for the common folk. True. Summon all the commanders to the meeting hall. Yorveth, give me some time. I must prepare them for your arrival. Witcher, Philippa, you must be there too. I wish to hear what we can expect from this anomaly and how we might be rid of it. Worry not, Yarpin. The legendary White Wolf and the equally famous Philippa Eilhart should have a remedy for several hundred rabid wraiths. I want to see all commanders in the council chamber. Philippa, that includes you and the Witcher. Cecil, the gates are to remain shut until we're done. You'll answer with your beard if they open for any reason. Welcome to Vergen, Witcher. I'm Cecil Burden, the Alderman. Geralt of Rivia. We've got a spare room at the inn. It's not much, but uh, at least you'll have a roof over your head and a solid bed neath your ass. Thanks. I could use that. Scalen, show Master Geralt to his quarters, and visit Reverend Alkin's chambers on your way back to inform everyone that uh, he has departed. That is, that he died a hero, slain by the invaders. Exactly. You see, Master Witcher? He's young but clever. We'll make a real dwarf out of him yet. Am I really gonna follow this guy? Another one. You let one human in and in no time you've got a swarm. And I heard human women need only sit astride a man's pants for their bellies to have them.
This shall be your chamber, Witcher. They say Selkirk of Gullet himself slept in this bed before battle. It didn't bring him any luck, but at least he was well rested before he died. Need anything else? Thanks, Skaven. So that was kind of pointless. I'm not sure I'll probably never come back in here the rest of the game. Taking forever to pop. You missed quite a scrap, gentlemen, and an opportunity to slay a monarch. There was a struggle, and the prince was wounded. You've all seen the magical phenomenon covering the battlefield. For any who still have doubts, this is no mundane mist, nor a petty fairground illusion. Most likely, we're up against a blood curse, an old and powerful spell. We do not know who cast it or why. For now, I have one piece of good news and several pieces of bad news. The good news is that Henselt and his army have been halted for the time being. And the bad news? The mist will grow. It may even engulf Vergen. Furthermore, wraiths may emerge from it. Can they be made penitent? With an axe to the head? In theory, yes. But I would suggest putting your faith in a silver weapon. Furthermore, the ghosts will weaken as they move away from the mist. Is there any way to drive it off? Exorcise it? A question for myself and Geralt of Rivia. The Kingslayer? Contrary to what old women at the wells say, he did not, in fact, slay any kings. Of course he didn't. Wouldn't hurt a fly, that one. Look at his eyes. You'll see he's the sensitive kind. Whatever you may see in his eyes, few know more about lifting curses. Gentlemen, I do not require you to understand this phenomenon, but there are a few rules I insist you must follow. Here we go. No one is to approach the mist. It is mortally dangerous. In addition, we need to learn the story of the battle. For this, I especially count on the aid of Mr. Cecil Burden. At your service, my lady. Thank you. To lift the curse, we require some objects symbolic of the war. Ones belonging to those who perished here three years past. Pfft. More scrap iron from that massacre lying about than lice in Cecil's beard. I thought curses were best handled with... Please leave the thinking to me, Mr. Zigrin, and I'd gladly hear less from you from now on. The objects must be magically active and strictly linked to the ghosts of the Fallen. That is all. Let me be clear, you're all to aid Philippa and the Witcher. What are you grumbling about now, Yarpen? Uh, <clears throat> it's uh, something in my gullet. Take a swig of wine. Now, to worldly matters. How many are we? Saskia, you know well... How many? We dwarves are near 200, but don't judge us by our number. A half thousand peasants will come, though you'll get no precise count. My lords? 53 knights and another 200 armed men. Not enough. Henselt leads 5,000, five to one against us. What think you of that? 
We are few, they are many, but we have our walls, low though they be. If we had archers, who knows? Oh, for a regiment of heavy arbalists from Lyria! We have something better. Jorvith's elves. Scoyatel. Gentlemen, I give you Jorvith. What do you seek here, murderer? A hundred of the North's best archers await your orders, Dragon Slayer. You wished for archers? Here they are. I take no pleasure in fraternizing with elves. But even a shit-coated stick can be a weapon. He burned down the villages of many in my horde. The free peasantry is one thing, but a criminal with a price on his head in all the northern realms? This is too much. Saskia, say the word and we'll depart. Hear me out. Jorvath came to fight for me. I trust him, and I know that he'll stay the course. Just like each of you. How could you know that? He's an elf! Treason runs in his veins! He's been fighting humans for a century. But for the first time in scores of years, his fight makes sense. The Scoyatel know no peace. They've died for Nilfgaard, for the Valley of the Flowers, in vain. They've been betrayed and cheated. Now they have a new goal. The Pontar Valley could be the first state where no man would have to fear elven arrows when venturing beyond city walls. And elves and dwarves wouldn't live in ghettos or on reservations. First, however, we have a battle to win. You know who we're up against. It's a splendid army, brave and well-led. They cannot be scared off or routed. They have to be killed. I want Jorvath to sit at the same table as we do. I want him to kill Kedweni for us. And I assure you that he'll do so with a smile, if only you let him. If I'm to see a smile on that skinny face, I'm in. Jorvath stays. Bloody hell. Father's turning in his grave, but a must's a must. I say I. Nay. You killed my men, Elf. Remember them? If I hadn't killed them, they'd have killed me. All right. For the sake of better times, and for Kedwin's doom, I! Down with the sons of bitches! Cheers! <laughs>